Well, here's a, uh, a little nugget of joy. <laughs> we, uh, we like using big cubic inches, and, and this uh, particular car, John Kazi, does not disappoint. What you're looking at is 521 cubic inches of all aluminum Boss 9. Uh, John Kazi had re-engineered the cylinder heads and various other components, so not to steal the word Boss 429, I believe he calls them the Boss 9. Uh, what he did was take an already legendary motor and found some of the shortcomings and um, re-engineered those pieces so they worked even better. So what we have is a motor that runs on pump gas and made uh, 805 horsepower very reliably. And um, some of the cool things on this different people involved. Uh, friends of mine over at White Rhino, since we got our hands full of everything building here, um, I outsourced some stuff just to get some stuff done in time. Uh, White Rhino uh, made these motor mounts for us. We designed them, but they, uh, they machined them up for us. Um, the oil pump is from Aviad, and uh, this really neat drive system is from <sighs> Jones Racing. Now, these headers are built by a friend of ours named Mike Romero. Mike uh -huh. has a company of Resurrections by Mike. He's an expert metal man. Uh, he's an incredible, incredible Sorry. with uh, metal forming, shaping, and welding. And he's doing the exhaust system for us out of stainless. Uh, the tubing on the headers is from Burns. And then the rest of the exhaust is flat oval, three inch flat oval from Spintech. So that's a real quick look around on the motor. Um, Oh yeah, and the oil pan. We had this custom made because of the way that it sits in the chassis um, from Jeff Johnston's uh, billet fabrication. He uh, made the pan for us. So, neat piece and should have more than enough horsepower to uh, move this car down the road or over the track.